What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Besides looking fashionable. Little father and son action going on. Little reverse bench for those triceps. Absolutely zero upper chest is worked. <laughs> uh, close grip. I got a massive human with me on this one. Wow, Big Dean. Oh, look at the kids in it. You're crushing it. You guys are going to like this. He's going to be uh, training with us a lot from here forward. Now that we lost Surge to um, toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. Um, the old uh, lunchbox. Lunchbox mentality. As we call it. <laughs> As a lunchbox. So here's the great thing about today's workout. You're going to see a professional athlete who's 26 years old. Let me say that again because you're, you're probably all older than him. But that big drink of water that you just saw doing close grips right here, 26. Now I'm teaching them here just an explosion kind of football. For you athletes, do not lift like a power lifter. Do not lift like a bodybuilder. Lift like an athlete should lift. And then you got Mona, the Romanian gangster. But going back to the big kid there, that, that kid that was six foot six, 308 pounds, a monster of a kid, um, defensive end. Again, pro football player. So the great thing about training with these kind of guys is that um, they're coachable. And that's one of the big things we're going to talk about today is being coachable. Uh, now, this guy's obviously making money doing his dream job um, at the highest level of athletics. And he's coachable compared to you guys that are watching YouTube that live in your mom's basement that I can't teach anything to. So comprehend that that's a huge thing uh, I can't teach you guys anything because you know everything because you saw some guy on YouTube do it so that's what's great about working with these guys see the change up here so just little little things so basic tricep extension but he was taking it up and over like most people do where I'm going to keep it back over his head so that way the tricep is flexed through the whole exercise and never relaxes compared to where my fingers were before and what he was doing so again this is this is big time changes little 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 things but make a big change to him uh, some of the other stuff that we were doing here was a reverse grip so um, you can do basic extensions 100% if you got a strong grip I do love a reverse grip tricep extensions. Now, I know this is really tough on the majority of you, so don't even try it if you don't want to do it. Don't worry about it. Stay with the basic. I just like it because of the inside head right there that I just showed you. The inside head of the tricep, just it just fires differently with that reverse grip. And also, the, the main thing here is we also did reverse bench. So it was just really trying to destroy that inner head. Again, close grip. Uh, is a great exercise and reverse bench is a great exercise. Both are the main exercises for thicker, bigger triceps. Those you should start with the workout. Um, does not mean that you always have to do it that way, but uh, in this workout we did. Now, uh, tricep extensions. Monique showed up late because she was, you know, doing Mona stuff, which is pretty much everything, running the business. Uh, she loves the reverse bench. And again, if you can watch this, she goes down below the chest. So that's where you would like to, the bar to go. Um, we made sure that we stayed nice and easy, good form with this kid. And you can see, I'm going to actually pull his arms back from where he's going to at this point. So still for me, this is too far forward at the top position. I would keep it further back. Rep range and everything on this is on the Universe Diet ebook. Make sure that you guys have that book. Um, that is what the diet we are doing now. If you are doing the 30 day blitz, great. Uh, incorporate the Piedmontese steak on either of the programs. Uh, do the blitz before you do the Universe Diet, though. That is a, that is a must. You got to do the blitz before the Universe Diet. I love how he's taking this all the way down to the bottom. Full range of motion, a great extension. Um, and again, uh, this kid is 20 and the other one is 26. So for most of you watching these, 
you're probably older or as old as these guys, and these guys are already crushing it. Um, and the main thing, reason why I want to say that is because power bodybuilding is, is a mental state as well as it is a training principle. Um, you got to be just different and think differently. I need you guys to be successful by 20. I don't need you guys waiting around. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't in the magazines by 17 years old. If I wasn't competing by 13, 14, I just felt I was different. And I'm hoping most of you guys feel the same way, that you feel different than everybody else. That you want to make something bigger of yourself than, than just the typical person. Um, you know, my mom and dad worked their whole lives. That was one thing I just did not want to do. I didn't want to work for the man or a nine to fiver, didn't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to create my own path and my own business and my own life. And so hopefully a lot of you guys are doing that or doing something that you love. If it is the nine to five and you love that job, then great. Mona and I are seven days a week. You guys are seeing this is a reverse bench um, followed by the reverse tricep extensions. See how little those elbows move? It's all that forearm squeeze Woo. all right now you guys are gonna like this now he is so used to being in that perfect hip back position that it's hard for him to get out of that position which again makes him the money and makes him a great football player so those hips back position with the chest for you guys that are watching this i'm going to want you to do it a little bit more like this just ask back. Don't worry about the posture. That way you can take those arms straight out. Now, here's a couple different things I do with these dumbbells. There's a reverse right there. And there's a reverse. So those hand positions, regular. So those are three different ways to do that, okay? So try that all three different ways. Again, keep that rep range going high and fun. Hey, Jeffrey, is this all triceps or we got biceps on this one? All tries. We don't give them the buys. Guys, you're not going to get the buys here. No, sorry, guys. That's going to be at another day. You're just gonna have to but I popped the around. top, though. What are you eating? Don't worry about what I'm Look eating. Look at this. I'm dieting down to the, the universe. <laughs> he comes over here with hamburger buns. Don't worry about what I'm eating. Those potato ones, too. You okay. Don't know what I'm doing with these. All right, get out of here. Okay, so that hand position. Three different positions. Reverse, regular, and then again reverse. It looks like a doctor here with that mask on right there. Then you can easy, easy curl bar. If Jeff was filming this any better than this, then it'd be, uh, there we go. So again, you're going to love this. When you do this, hold it on the backside. So let it come down and push it back up. But it's that squeeze right there at the top that is so badass. You're going to see it through his black shirt, which is tough to do. Look at that flex. Oh, you can see it. Boom. That's what I want for you guys when you do this. And again, I don't worry about the back here arched over, whatever range of motion. I'm fine. You're not going to hurt yourself, guys. That's what the back is. It bends over. Uh, I did not have, or I don't think I had uh, Dean do this because uh, <clears throat> of limb position. Uh, I see we had to try. But uh, limbs are a little short for this aspect where it worked good for me and the kid. So we go right back to the dumbbells for him. And again, you're going to find out with you and how your body functions if you can do it this way or that way. Both are great. And why are we doing it like this and not on the bench? Well, because he's a football player, so he's an athlete. So I didn't want him to relax on the bench doing this. I wanted him to stand up and have to hold that and use the whole body to counterbalance that. You guys don't have to do it that way. Oh my gosh, Serge just showed up. Holy cow. So same thing here, watch this. Watch the form coming around. That's regular. Reverse. This is good. And Serge is here and then reverse and reverse. So you guys can try all three different ways. Whoop, whoop, look at that. Main thing though, do not, and I see everybody do this. I see everybody throw it back on kickbacks and use heavy weights. Um, and that's fine. That's fine sometimes, but today was more of an isolation. We already hit the heavy stuff. Go for last it. Clip. That's the last clip, guys. He's, oh, he's giving me the outs. 
this is going to be it. So uh, we're going to go over and, and we're going to talk to him about what I said at the very beginning of this, and that is coachability. Can you be coached? And again, I think most of you cannot be coached. Um, you already know too much because you already saw some YouTube on how to do it. Weight training for dummies, one-on-one. Um, and so now you can't be coached. That's not right, Mike. You're back. You're going to hurt it. Uh, you guys love both of these. Hold that bar on the backside. So I'm going to let you enjoy this. And then we're going to listen to a professional athlete, pro football player, talk about being able to be coached. And the second thing we talked about was, Mike, what was it? Ooh, the hard times. Um, Everybody wants to enjoy. Bye. All right. So the question I had is this. Uh, coaching ability. You don't get to your level where the majority of people do not get to your level that are not coachable. And so for the kids out there that are listening, that uh, read on the internet how to do something, and then that's it. I don't, I, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to be told I'm doing it wrong. What do you tell to those guys? Or what can you give those well, guys? You know, I've seen so many guys that had uh, so much talent, but they weren't coachable. And when things maybe went wrong for them, they pointed fingers or didn't take you know, criticism or whatever it was. Um, when you have someone who believes in you and who wants to see you get better, you have to understand that and, and take that. Um, you know, even today, there's so many things, small details that Mike was working on and different lists and techniques that I never thought of. And I applied it right away and it was better in my joints. It was stressing the right muscles and all those things. So that's a small example. If, you know, if you want to be great, you have to take coaching and you have to you know, be the best player you can be. And it's, it's all encompassing. You, know, you got to put your ego aside. You got to put, you know, all of that aside and say, hey, how can I get better? And a lot of that is through coaching. How old are you? I'm 26. 26 years old, stand 6'6", six, six, close to 300 pounds. For these guys that don't, again, because they're going to look at you and go, yeah, you're a pro football player. You made it. You got it handed to you. What can you tell them? Again, because I know how hard it is. Right. And not even how hard it is. Even if you are freaking great and you put everything into it and you still may not make it to pro football, even if you get there, it's a short-lived moment. Right. How have you been able to get there, stay there? And uh, again, for the kids that may not comprehend that you're just the same age, if not younger than everybody watching this, mm -hmm. what is it that you can tell them about the struggle? Uh, the biggest thing is you have to, you have to fight through adversity. Um, even the, the best players have adversity. There's bumps in the road, there's injuries, there's poor games, whatever it is. You gotta stay the course, believe in yourself, Trust your training, again, take coaching, and see the big picture. And if you do that, if you keep working, put your head down, um, be process driven, then the results will come for you. So it's not just about uh, loving that uh, everything's life is great and stuff? It's, it's not, not at all, not at all. I mean, there's a lot of tough days, training camp, you know, there's days where your body isn't feeling it, but you gotta get up in the morning and go to work and, and be a pro. And that's the biggest thing is being a pro, setting a standard, and um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate Appreciate more of this stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a great sh Look at him. What a big freaking stud. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say this. 26. The reason why I say 26 because most of you are, are past that age, and you guys look at me and you go, hey, I got time. You don't have time. It's 26. You've got to be making it right now.